now from here again come shake your wrist a bit shake your palm relax it interlace your fingers just give a little bit of rotation now again come to your tabletop position we'll do threading the needle so i'm gonna get my right palm all the way up open my chest exhale completely and bring my right shoulder on the ground look up if you want a deeper stretch raise your left palm up if you want it to go a little more deeper place your left palm on your right inner thigh feel your spine observe your breath bring your left palm up place it on the ground slowly inhale and come up let us do it on the left hand side left hand goes up open your chest left shoulder comes down underneath your right shoulder open your right palm for a deeper stretch place your right palm on your left inner thigh deep breath in and breathe out inhale bring your right palm up place it on the ground inhale inhale and relax from here we'll do puppy pose that's getting the chest onto the ground come to your table top walk your palm a bit a bit a bit by bit don't go all of a sudden feel the stretch feel the stretch hip goes all the way up tummy tucked in almost reaching your thighs place your chin to the ground if you can't place a pillow wherever you can if you can reach only till here then place your pillow over here and then relax open your chest it is all for opening your chest deep breath in and breathe out So staying in staying here for a longer duration you can actually feel the stretch getting deeper and deeper last two breaths deep inhale deep exhalation deep inhalation deep exhalation inhale walk slowly up by placing your fingertips on the ground walk it up walk it up walk it up and come to your table top then from your then to your vajrasana so from here i'm going to show you few hip openers That, for that we'll again come to our table top position we'll do few hip rotation so i'm going to show you on the left hand side first get your left knee close at your chest open it open it to the top most level that you can rotate it and then come back we are going to do it for five times up open to the side all the way up then coming down two three four 
फोर लास्ट वन फाइव डू इट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड गेट इट इन ओपन अप ओपन योर चेस्ट पॉइंट योर टोज देन कम डाउन टू इनहेल ओपन एक्जेल कम डाउन ओपन एंड डाउन लास्ट वन गो फॉर अ डीप स्ट्रेच बिग सर्कल and then come to your table top so from here i'm going to show you malasana stretch so for that you will have to come to your squatting position first squat tummy on your thighs toes out ankles in you can separate your knee from your elbows you can take a support of your elbow and then just push your knees out push your knees out don't leave your belly loose activate your belly open it keep your spine straight hip almost down groin almost to the ground open your chest open it up activate your belly just till side to side it is at some moments here let us open up our chest and go for a deeper stretching by placing my right palm on the mat then opening my left palm up i'll open my chest up and make sure you're not collapsing your knee forward open it open it bring your awareness to your inner most thighs open it open it hold Five, four, three, two, and one. If you want, you can deepen your stretch by your hands. Hold in. Inhale. Bring your arm up, and then again come to your. prayer pose then place your left palm on the ground open your right arm up open your shoulder open it remember to push your right knee out do not get it in try to push it out activate your inner thighs open it hold 5 Four, three, two, and one. If you want to deepen your stretch, if you are flexible enough, then go for interlacing. Otherwise, just hold here. One day you will get there. It's a journey. Do not push your push it too hard and feel bad for not reaching it. Interlace, open. your shoulder out 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 holding for few seconds inhale and come down to this let us do butterfly pose sit on your sit bones you can use use your pillow or bricks if you have just place your break to whichever level you can and then relax it relax open it by flapping your knees out if you are flexible enough just get it down get it down you can also deepen your stretch by placing your palm sorry placing your feet on the brick or on the pillow remember to activate your abdomen and then flap it up flap your knees to the ground flap your knees to the ground we'll do it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Remove your brick and just place, open your feet like a book and then keep your spine straight, open your chest and then just re relax in this pose. Do not push too hard so that you'll get, get your inner thigh injury or you can get your hamstring pulled. So just relax wherever you can if you're in this position. No problem. Relax. Two, three, four, and five. Relax. The modified position for this is you can place your brake here and then sit on the brake and then open your hips open it you can keep a bolster or a pillow whichever is comfortable and then push your knee to the ground push your knee You can remove your brake and you can also add in some forward bendings going all the way down and touching the chest to your feet or the ground whichever is possible don't remember to get your belly down first not your forehead don't go this way the main thing that we're focusing here is to open your chest and bringing your belly to the ground not your forehead to the ground open it open it stay wherever you're comfortable do not push hard whenever you're coming forward make sure your sit bones are on the mat don't lift up and come this will not help you open your chest place your forehead on the mat spine activated Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. So the next stretch that I'm going to show you is the happy baby pose. It is one of my favorites, and uh, it helps you to relax your lower back and open your hamstring. This is one of the best hip openers, and all levels can do this. Not only the beginners. So you got to lie on the mat, make sure to imprint your lower back on the mat, do not lift your leg up, okay, like sorry, your lumbar up. So spine on the mat, open your legs, catch your outermost edge of your feet, then pull it down, pull it down, pull your knee to the ground. You should feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Open it. Just tilt to the side. Relax. Three. Two. And one. You can also do it on the single leg. Just straighten the right leg and then pull your left knee to the ground. Open your elbow, use your strength, just pull it. Four, three, two, one don't pull too hard and injure your hamstrings take it slow and steady four three two last one 
one. So the next posture is going to be Janusi Rasana. So we have to come to our L sit position. Sit bones firmly on the mat, shin on the mat, knee straight, and then activate your toes. If if you're flexible enough, like you can try to lift your heels up. Activate your spine. Your belly should be activated. Bring your right foot next to your innermost thigh of your left leg. And from here, you have to go down by your tummy first, chest and then the chin, not your forehead. Do not arch your back. Always open your chest and move forward. If you if you are flexible, then catch your catch your catch your palm. Breathe in and breathe out. Do not force yourself. If you are not flexible then you can use the that's belt place it across your foot wrap it around your palm and then push yourself forward by opening the elbows open open your chest exhale don't go down inhale come up you can also modify it further by placing the brick under your sit bones this way it helps you correct the spine uh, it helps you correct the posture by completely getting the spine in a straight line so open your chest you can use a belt if 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 you don't have a belt just hold on to your shin and open your chest and breathe open your chest and breathe reach wherever it's possible don't rush don't hate yourself for not touching your shin it's a journey love yourself love your body place a, place your be a belt across your foot and then go down in up we'll do it on the other side open your knee to the side open your hips open your hip and sit straight sit straight by pulling yourself down spine should be straight reach your belly on your thigh open your chest get your shin to your chin if possible hold on if you can hold your left wrist and bend forward no rush take it slow and steady inhale come up we'll use the belt and the brick by placing it under your sit bone bring your left foot on your right inner thigh and bending forward exhale 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 and bend forward always exhale and bend forward do not hate inhale and go down of course you have to breathe so inhale and exhale once you reach in that position inhale come up and the next posture and the final posture 
is Paschimottasana. Come to your L sit position. Activate your quads by lifting your heels up. If you want, just sit your correct your posture by placing your palm and just bend forward how much ever you can. No, no rush. Get your belt. Put it across your feet. Wrap it around your palm and open your chest. Bring your belly on your thighs. Exhale, open your chest, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. You can go in for a deeper stretch. Exhale completely. Bring your chin to chin on your knee not your forehead exhale completely chest first and then the chin exhale five four three two and one inhale come up just as you did uh, Janusirasana, you can also modify this position by using the brick under your sit bone. Just correct your posture for a while. Exhale, use the belt and then go forward. Always open your chest and go forward. Do not hunch your back. Exhale, 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 go forward. I'm sliding away. So just sit firmly on the brick, exhale, go down. So this is the end of the first episode. Next episode, I'm going to show few core strength exercises. It will not be uh, a yoga sana posture. Most of them are core strength exercises. So stay tuned, be healthy and be happy. Thank you.